Most stories of vintage cars follow a similar trajectory. They're purchased new, ran, and maintained by a singular family, only to end in the hands of someone who just sees it as an old car. This is not one of those stories. This car specifically represents everything about the brand that debuted with it. It has carried that meaning through with every owner and on every continent that it has resided on. This XK120, the car that launched Jaguar Cars Limited, is a perfect representation of the way the brand impacted automotive culture over the last 75 years. In the decades leading to World War II, automobile racing had begun to take its place in popular culture. The cars were utilitarian, boxy, and followed formulaic design to succeed. Open wheel, square bodies, and unnecessarily large engines producing not a lot of power. After the war, brands began to think about a future as they regained the ability to manufacture vehicles as opposed to munitions. SS cars had been manufacturing automobiles in Great Britain since 1934. They timely changed their name in 1948 to Jaguar Cars Limited, and with the new name came a new innovative vehicle. The 1948 London Motor Show marked the debut of the XK120. With it came flowing, curvy design language, as well as a revolutionary engine design that allowed the XK120 to hold the title of world's fastest car for years to follow its release. One year into the production run of XK120, chassis number 670087 rolls off the line and is sent to its first owner, casino pioneer Bill Hurrah in the United States in 1950. Mr. Hurrah competed in the United States with the car and set lap records at brand new tracks like Pomona and Willow Springs in California. During this time, other manufacturers began to debut vehicles that followed similar design and engineering language to that set by the XK120. This is when XK120 number 670087 gets its big break, though. The car is returned to a private owner in the UK, where it undergoes a full restoration to prepare for vintage racing competition. Post-restoration, the car is brandished with the PGY189 registration number that earns it the nickname Piggy. The history here gets hazy, as the new UK owners were not as public, nor did they keep the same amount of records that Mr. Harad did. We do learn that the car was entered into a 100km vintage race at the famous Le Mans circuit in France, among other newer Jaguars and other British sports cars in about 1972. Piggy dominated the field and came in first place, deeming it a Le Mans winning car. This then becomes the first thing mentioned in every for sale listing slash article written about the car. Piggy traded hands a few times in the UK before landing in another private collection where it sat from 1992 until 2017. In the years following Piggy's racing success, Jaguar as a brand struggled to stay afloat. They traded hands from British Leyland to BMW to Ford before ultimately landing with Tata Motors in 2009. This began a new chapter for Jaguar as they had been in the red for so long that a complete reinvention was absolutely necessary for their survival. In 2017, Jaguar announced the beginning of their electric future. They were to bring to market the first luxury electric crossover, their iPACE, to rival Tesla. The market had been saturated by Tesla's Model S and Model X in the years leading up to this announcement. By 2019, iPaces were in stores and being delivered to a small set of very eager, early adopter clients. They proved difficult to sell to those with no connection to the brand as it took literal faith to invest money and mental energy in a technology this new from a company with such a poor reputation for its electronics. iPace had a totally unique look and it standardized a lot of what consumers were looking for in an electric vehicle. It had an egg-like shape flat back end for aerodynamics, and the design emphasis was on the cockpit. In 2019, I worked at a Jaguar dealership, and upon delivering an iPace to a lovely British woman named Marisa, was informed that her husband was collecting his dream Jaguar across the pond at the same time. I immediately knew that this was a story that should be shared. XK120 and iPace were the bookends of Jaguar's story and had to be captured together. Out of the blue, on a swelteringly hot day, Stuart pulls up outside my store to take me for a spin. Here I learned a bit about his fondness for British car culture and his connection to the racing world. Stewart's hunt for a classic car led him to Piggy after searching and pondering other makes and models. He focused on other Jaguars from the years following the XK120, as well as other British sports cars. Stewart says he ultimately chose Piggy because of the story and the historical significance. The driving experience is a bit clunky around town, and it takes a lot of room to really drive Piggy to its fullest potential. Previously, having owned a Morgan, a car with a body and frame made of wood, Stuart was able to see past Piggy's dynamic shortcomings and really fell for the story behind the car. This is something I find true of many classic Jaguar owners I speak with. Piggy now lives the life of a retired legend. It carried the weight of the Jaguar brand on its shoulders at every race it competed in, every event entered as a static display piece, and every time someone on the road points at it and goes, what kind of car is that? 
Piggy can be frequently found parked with its I-Pace grandchildren that now get to carry on the legacy of Jaguar's innovation. Much like the XK120, they too made huge impacts upon their release. Their adoption was slow and consisted of small clientele. They have also since been overtaken in terms of what their technology is capable of, as well as had their design ripped off and tweaked to fit other brands' images. Jaguar is a brand that is built and run on optimism. They will occasionally come up with a revolutionary idea, and sometimes it even works in execution the way they planned it. More frequently, however, they're scrambling to stay relevant and profitable. The people who care for, no, really love Jaguars, have to be willing to go through disappointment as these cars do live up to their reputation. Getting to know Stuart, how much he cares for these cars and the brand behind them brings me, a lifelong Jaguar enthusiast, comfort. It feels good to know that a car with this much historical significance is in the hands of someone who cares for it enough to continue using it. Stuart embodies the perfect ambassador for the brand as he is an open book, willing to share the stories, insight, and even share the driver's seat of one of his prized possessions. Jaguar relies on fans like this to carry its legacy through. It remains a privilege to care for these special, finicky cars, and these caretakers have to see it as such. Only time will tell where Jaguar will go next. They are set to be moving to a full electric vehicle platform by 2025, so the i certainly set the stage for what is to come from that brand. As for Piggy, we know where it will be for the foreseeable future, living with someone who will care for and maintain it to share with the world the way Jaguar came on the scene and shaped an entire movement with one design. Thank you.